Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to learn about current dependent current source, okay, CDCS. So I'll run the simulation and I'll show you how current dependent current source works and what is the behavior of current dependent current source and I'll, I'll also explain how will you design current dependent current source in LTSPICE, right? So, so guys, you can join the membership of this channel, Electronic Circuit Hub. So by clicking on join button, you can join the premium membership. Like if you click on the premium membership, it, it will direct you for the payment. And once you click on this join button and you can see it will ask you for some information so like add credit or debit card once now let us understand how will you design the current dependent current source in LTSPICE right so you can see here this i1 is a current source so if you go on component and if you see here the current this is the current source then this is resistance r1 so you can see i1 is connected to r1 and with common ground now this is v1 if you go on the component and if you select the bi you can see here this is bi you will have a battery current source and this is basically a battery current source okay and if you right click on this a battery current source so what you will see here so you will see the function some function okay so what is i equals to the current flowing through this arbitrary current source b1 is what is i equals to you can start with a braces then i and current flowing in the in the other branch that is i1 i into i1 okay if you define this function like that and if you properly define the syntax for this function in, in the value field here i equals to braces i into again braces i1 so this 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 b1 current source will work as a current dependent current source so your first primary current source is i1 and this your second b1 current source is current dependent current source what does it mean if i say the current dependent current source that means that whatever current flowing in the i1 or whatever current flowing through resistance r1 the same current will flow will flow through the resistance r2 or this current source b1 it, it will work as a current dependent current source so in the simulation i alter the value of this right i'll change the different different current value here and i'll show you like how you can get the same current at the at the output of this resistance r2 okay so this first circuit is current source it generates a current constant current source and the second circuit is current dependent current source okay okay so whatever current flowing in this branch in this circuit it will be same a replica the same current will flow uh, through the resistance r r2 okay through the resistance r2 now let me run the simulation and let me show you straight away how this circuit works what is the behavior of this circuit right so go at simulate and edit simulation command you can see here so you have to select the transient analysis so those who are who are watching my video first time so that is why i explain every time here other uh, here how will you set the simulation command before running the simulation so what you need to do is you need to go at simulate then edit simulation command you can find the transient analysis then stop time i kept here is 10 millisecond click on ok once you click on ok you have to go here this is run you can see run symbol a run button just click on in this run button and what i need to do is let me child window vertically okay and let me show you so <clears throat> let me show you two different current in two different plane okay so you can see here the current 
I1 equals to 2 milliampere. Now let me show you the B1 current. Okay. You can see the same current is flowing in the B1 as well. Okay. So that means this works as a current dependent current source. And why this is working as a current dependent current source? B why? Because you have defined a function here you have defined a proper function here so that means this current dependent current source is taking the value of current from this current source by using this function now let me change the the current value here and let me show you if there is impact here so i'll directly run the simulation now you can see at this time your i1 is 1 milliampere and your ib1 is again 1 milliampere let me change let me change the current here that is 10 milliampere and let me run the simulation again i'll show you what is the behavior here now you can see your i1 is 10 10 milliampere and the same current is flowing in your b1 so you you can see here i v1 is 10 milliampere as well okay so you can see here there is a no physical connection there is a no physical connection between i1 and b1 even then you can see the same current and you are you are you are applying the current in the i1 and you can see your same current is flowing in the b1 as well okay let me add some level here so i will call is input so this is input here let me say and i will add one level at output so this again is a output let me add v out so this is output now okay now you can see if i want to show you what i want to show you now what is the input voltage and how your output voltage changes so now let me show you the voltage the voltage across r1 is how much you cannot see let me run the simulation again okay and now try let me try so you can see the voltage v1 is how much 10 volt and let me show you the voltage out is you can see 100 volts so if you calculate v into i 10 milliampere into 1k it will become 10 volt and at the same time if you calculate 10 milliampere into 10k it will become it will become 100 volt so that is why you are getting your v in is 10 volt and your v out is 100 volt now let me change this current value again to 1 milliampere and let me show you the output okay now you can see your input is 1 volt and your output is 10 volt so why because because the resistance value r2 at v out is 10k okay so so your output voltage is 10 times more than your input voltage right right guys so guys hope i hope you have understood how will you design current dependent current source in altspice 